everybody. Welcome back to Catch Up Palooza. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Mission Red Planet, and my name is Z Garcia. I'm Camilla Cleghorn. I'm Roy Kane. And I'm Wendy Yi. Mission Red Planet, oh, an area right. control okay. game set, of course, on that red planet in which you are deploying astronauts, they're landing on Mars, they're fighting each other, betrayals galore, everybody's lost in space, all sorts of nastiness in order to collect these, these wonderful tokens here. So, I've played the game before, I like it quite a bit. Um, and you three, all three, had not tried this out before. before. Even though it is in space, Roy, I'm disappointed in yeah. you. <laughs> this was on my bucket list of games to play, because I'm trying to go through the top like games on Boarding Geek and yeah. make sure to play all the space ones. Oh, yeah. I'm glad we have to kick the bucket. That's, That's awesome. Know, that but no, it's sense. awesome. It's awesome. All right, so um, before we dive into what you guys thought mm. of it, mm -hmm. what did you think you were going to get going in? I had had some people that. who talked a little bit about like the card mechanics and stuff like that mm -hmm. to me. I knew it had like that Citadel's vibe that very people much. compared it to a lot. It was area control. Looking at it, I, it looks a little bit like Alien Frontiers as far as area control stuff goes. Like, oh, you're going down to a planet and taking stuff over. Um, I'm really excited to see how it worked. Um, I, I didn't realize how fast it was though. Like yeah. Z was talking to us about like how fast it was, and when we played the game, it went really quickly. And I quickly. just yeah. enjoy games where you have that simultaneous action selection, and you're going through the different phases of everything. And I also was kind of shocked. I mean, I knew it was a lighter game from what you had said to mm -hmm. us about it, but like it was kind of cool that there was a little bit of like take that and mess each other up and things like that. That can be the timing is so important in this yeah. game. It is. Timing yeah. is a lot. huge. Like trying to figure out the order of play because it's like I really want to mess up this person, but if they launch before I can yep. do that, it's not going to happen. And you have to kind of pay attention to what other cards people have played as well mm -hmm. to kind of know mm -hmm. like, oh, they no longer have that in their hand. Mm -hmm. They can't do that to me this round. There's a lot of things to think about as you play the game. And those lower cards are really powerful, right? Mm -hmm. You know, or right. more powerful it seems, but then you're going later, so you right. might not get to play. The situations exactly. could change. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So it really Definitely. is that gamble. And, and this game's interesting too because the, the card that lets you take them take the cards back you could be like Wendy and like play almost all of your cards out and then play that or you could do that a little bit earlier and try like spam the same card a few mm -hmm. more times it's just yeah. like those decisions yeah. on when to do that I appreciate that that card still lets you put out an astronaut right. there's so you many games where that card yeah. is kind of a I don't take a turn this turn, mm, so right. I can take a better turn next turn. Yeah, yeah, there's too few turns in this game for there to be a fully dead turn. Yeah, right. oh yeah, It's definitely. just way too fast for that. So yeah, they all let you put at least someone out. Yeah. What about you two? I knew, Again, just going yeah, in before I, you play it. Basic. I'll be quick and eat. I, I knew nothing about it. Yeah, I, I went in completely I, blind as well. Yeah. Knew it was red. I knew Mars was involved. Is it Mars? Is it Mars? Or is it, I guess it is the red Mars. Planet. Oh, I yeah, assumed yeah. it was Mars that because it was the red planet. Right. Yeah. But that, that is all I knew. I knew nothing about the mechanisms. I, I knew nothing. Expansion, going into it. the other red planet. So. I don't know which planet it would be, but it would be another one. Another one? Yeah, yeah. different galaxy. Far, far away. What did you know about the game going into it? No, nothing. I knew nothing. Oh, okay, so yeah. same thing. Oh, literally, yeah. nothing. <laughs> literally nothing. Literally yeah, nothing. All right, so Roy, it sounds like you liked it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I thought it was pretty cool. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the interaction. I like that it's very yeah. interactive. Like, mm -hmm. the timing and trying to figure out where people are going and being like, oh, that ship's too full, or oh, it's not full enough, that sort of thing, and trying to figure out when to launch. Because, I mean, those ship cards are so simple, but like the fact that like they have a whole lot of things, like the number of crew that can fit in them is right. important. Right. Where mm -hmm. they're going is important. The fact that you know that a player can play a card that changes where it's going is important. Or launch it early. Or launch it early. Or blow, or blow it, it up. Before it I mean, you can, yeah. And then I really enjoyed this, the the fact that the board is randomly set up at the beginning of the game each time, so the different areas aren't going to be the same, and that will correspond to the cards mm -hmm. as well. But then you have these secret missions that you're going after also, and you're not really quite sure what everybody has. There's also cards that people are putting down on the outside areas of the board that are going to affect how those areas work, and you're not going to know that until the end of the game. It's kind of interesting because the first round felt uh, like quick, but it wasn't too many times, but the game just gets quicker. Mm -hmm. Each round as well. Yeah. So it's kind of crazy. It's yeah. like the second round's a little bit shorter, and the last round's extremely short. Right. So it's like, wow, the game just just ramps up and gets really snappy. Like in between scorings is what you're talking yeah, about. For yeah. Sure. yeah. You go five times and then score, then three times and score again, then, then two, two times, times and score, score again. Right. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. I'm always or I'm sometimes hit or miss with area control games. Sometimes mm. I enjoy them, sometimes I don't. This reminds me of Ethnos yeah. a lot. Like not the card okay. play, but the way that you move around majorities and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoy Ethnos and so I think that there's there's something about this that reminds me of that and makes me enjoy it more 
than I typically enjoy area control games. Gotcha. Yeah, I could see yeah. that. It is sort of a similar vibe, isn't it? I mean, again, and the, the, the Ethnos pieces kind of are obviously discs, but they have these bright colored ah, pieces sure, as well in Ethnos. The weird shaped yeah. areas. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. yeah. I could see I that. Know. The other stuff, yeah, absolutely it's very different, but, but yeah. yeah. Camille, I'm curious what you yeah. thought about the what Roy was talking about the interaction, the very like in your face interaction because right. I, I don't think you like that stuff. Too I, much. I don't really like it, but what, what I thought was good about this is there is that in your face interaction, but it's it's pretty minor. Like like uh, I felt it was minor. And yeah, you blow up a ship, that really sucks if you had all your people on there, you know. But maybe moving one person or you're just replacing one person, something like that, you know. So it's more like they're interactions, but they're more like tweaking the board. It's not completely overcoming the board, you know? And right. so I didn't feel like it was it was game tweaking, not game changing necessarily. Mm. Maybe it is longer term, but you then have an opportunity on the next one to mm-hmm. put it back in your favor, you know? So I really think that it, it kind of hit that sweet spot of having a lot of interaction, but not feeling like you just get demolished every round, like I'm not even at, well, to be clear, I was not in that game at all. <laughs> I was last by a lot, but it didn't feel like that as you're playing it. You know, it didn't just feel yeah. like I can't even get anywhere. That was just poor choices on my part, you know, learning the game. So, hmm. so yeah, so I thought it really hit a sweet spot of, of the interaction. I think the control of the cards helps with that feeling of attacking, right. because we all have the exact same attack cards. It's not like mm-hmm. I drew the magical card that blows up an entire region of everybody but me. Yeah. Like, it's there's an equality in it, and right. it's about mm-hmm. that management instead of, hey, random. Well, well, it's not that whole. Oh, do they have that card? You know, we're pulling from a deck, and it's like, did mm-hmm. they get that one really powerful one? I know, you know what I mean. No, it really is. It's the open information. You know what's in their hand because you know what they've played. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, and you know where they're trying to go. Majority. Yeah, you don't know the secret missions, but but for the most part, you can look at the board and kind of get an idea. You know. Um, I mean, the discovery cards do a little bit of that sort of long-term messing with someone. Mm -hmm. You could somebody could play one very late in the game. It's not a particularly good card to play very late in the game. It's not that powerful. Um, And even if when you draw one, if it's a mission, it's so late you probably can't adapt a you know to it. Mm -hmm. And if it's a discovery, you can definitely mess with someone. They won't have a chance to react by playing that character themselves and looking at it and reacting. So you could do that. Not a great play on their part either at yeah. the end of the game. You know what I mean? So I if you're I putting do. out, if you're drawing a card and getting a discovery and you're putting it somewhere, they have a chance to think to themselves do I leave? Right. Do I look? Mm-hmm. Do I risk it? What could it be? You know? So, and familiarity, of course, is going to help with that. Knowing what kinds of discoveries are, are you know, are in the deck. Sure, there's so few that came out. I think, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, think I wish there was more of that, like, you know, more of the actions and stuff like that. You know, I, I wish feel like really. it's going to add a that, ton yeah. to the replayability, though, because we only scratched the very tip of the Very's iceberg true. on those things. And as you play the game more and more, you're just going to see different ones come up or maybe the same ones come up again. And mm-hmm. just that's going to add a lot to the replayability of the game as you play through it time and time again and mm-hmm. see completely different stuff a little bit. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The 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 speed of the game definitely, I think, is one of its biggest strengths. I love it. Yeah, I will say, yeah. I think this. I would not like this game if it was longer. I think mm-hmm. because it is short. You know, some of those uh, mechanisms that are not typically my favorite. That the totally in your face, like mm-hmm. aha, you know, you're done now. You know, wipe you off the board. You know, the kind of those, those really take that kind of feeling moments, they don't bother me, because it's a short game. The end game where you completely, mm-hmm. you know, we made this a completely useless space for you. You know what I right. mean? Because it's a mm-hmm. short game and it feels well, lighter. Because I had the right action uh-huh. card. Uh-huh. You know, uh-huh. right. But it's like those feel a little more epic mm-hmm. than devastating, because it's sure. short and lighter. Mm-hmm. And so I, I think, again, just about that sweet spot that it's, it's it, it did those things well. Mm-hmm. You know, for things that I don't typically like, it, it handled them very, in a way that made them positive. I also like the ramp up of the victory points or resources or whatever you, whatever mm-hmm. you want to call them. I like that that first round, I really had no idea what I was doing. Um, but it gave me enough of a feel, and there was still so much, so many points to gain as it progressed because right. it grew that, you know, you can shift, you can pivot, you know. Oh, maybe I flipped over a whole bunch of ice, but I can move my guys. I can get somewhere else. I can change the way that the state of the board by the end of the game mm-hmm. and earn enough points at that point to still have a chance of winning. It's not like yeah. it's mm-hmm. not like first round determines. Yeah. Right. It's a very it's minor taste. thing, the idea mm-hmm. that these begin face down, but I really like the idea I, of when you show up in Mars 
Yeah. That's when you know what's there to mine. It gives you a little bit of that exploration. You know what I mean? sure. yeah. But it's, but it's yeah. a good thing that you have the missions because without that, you'd just be like, I guess I'll go here. You know, to be too lucky. So at least you're going towards something when you're putting your things out. If you have an area control mission, well, yeah. If you yeah, do, yeah, right. Because right. if you're not, it'd just be like, I guess I'll try for this one. You know, it'd be I a like little the shape too of this gambling. area. Right. It's, it's cool that there's cards gambling, that let you like move people it's... around and things like that as well. So it's like, yeah. oh, I can leave here. Oh, I can try to get majority in a different thing. So it's like, if you go somewhere that's not mm-hmm. worth as many points, you can get to a place that's worth more or helps you get a majority or something. That was my favorite card, the move three things on the board. Mm-hmm. Like, it's that good. was so powerful, so cool. Mm-hmm. What are your favorite cards? What did you really like? I must say, for me, I don't know, just the fact I love this sort of mechanic. So it was just cool that the cards are so different overall, and there's a lot of variety there. Sometimes these games don't have as many cards in them. This gives you a whole bunch of different chances, and you're, you might not even play a game. I don't think I played Fin Fatale the entire game, but in the right situation, it could That's be huge. amazing. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Mm-hmm. And I mean, I don't think any of the cards are terribly worse than the others. I think it's really cool the variety you have in that, and... I liked all of it, honestly, as far as that stuff went. Even though the travel agent whipped with me on our first turn of the game, I always mm-hmm. wanted to figure out if I could play it again. I'm like, please have high occupancy yeah, ships. So I, I can played make it successfully. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's did. one of yeah. my favorites, I was going to say, because of that very thing, because it gives mm-hmm. that round for that player a sort of hold your breath, push your mm-hmm. luck vibe, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, these are all fours, or maybe there's a five and three fours. I think I can get away with this one. Right, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'll play it, and then so-and-so plays over there, and one ship takes off, and I'm like, and oh, the boy. Up, and then you're like, ship blew up. And then you're like, Here we go. Yeah. So when you're able to trigger it, and you're like, yes, I get yeah. all three of my people on there. You know, it's, it's three really or boring. nothing on yeah. this one. Right. So I really like that one a lot. I think yeah. that card's only possible because you have the the round flipping over the cards. I thought it was a, a simultaneous reveal, mm-hmm. and I was thinking that card is pointless because everyone's just going to see, oh, someone has a three, I'm going to take up all the possible spaces so they can't yeah. put that down. So I appreciate that it's like a countdown. Yeah, the game has a lot of those little tension moments, you know, mm-hmm. whether it's from the card or whether that, you know, turning over one at a time as you as you count down, whatever. I think that's the mm-hmm. real strength of it is that it kind of yeah. has different moments in it that build that tension. Um, I think my card, the one I really liked for this game specifically, again, like Roy said, I like all the cards, and I think in the right situation, every game I'll probably have a different one that I choose, you know? But for this one, I really like the yeah. Secret Agent. I was really drawn to that. I think I played it three times, at least twice, I know, but I was Secret really... Agent. I played it every time I had it. It was good. Let's right, because that's placed in two different ships, and then you force, force, one, to force one to launch. And yeah. I really oh, yeah. feel like... I thought I played a lot. I mean, yeah, you yeah, know, because yeah, yeah. you can have, okay, well, if I have one here, and then I can put them here, and those are probably going to launch because of low numbers, then I'll launch this one. You know, it really gives you a lot of options. It, it kind of widens the field. And, yeah. and, and the ships are a lot safer once they're launched, so you're just yeah. like, I launched the one I needed to, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm going to be yeah. on the board this round. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Right. Yeah, it feels mischievous, right, to play that card and be like, I'm putting a guy here. Yeah. And then I'm taking off. Uh, yeah. you know? You're like, Saha, you guys right. haven't gone yet. Yeah. You know, I just yeah. denied you I like the, space. Yeah, you know? I took the only four, and now you're stuck with two ships. <laughs> you yeah. know, yeah. whatever. And again, it's back to that tension. You know, the tension that you can cause and the the, the mayhem. Absolutely. So. All right. So, um, so we're gonna give it. You guys are gonna give it a buy it, bring it, or bury it. And I want to hear what your thoughts are on that. Of course, buy it, something you'd like to have in your collection, maybe even consider purchasing it yourself. A bring it, if you bring it, I'll play, and a bury it is put it at the bottom of the pile. I don't wanna I don't wanna see it again. Uh, let's start with you, Roy. You're the space guy. I, I really enjoy the game a lot. Uh, it, it's really hard for me to get to that buy it phase. Like it has to be insanely high, but I'm definitely gonna say bring it for this. I would easily play this at a convention if somebody like said that they would want to play. I because it's really quick and you fast. You can teach to play. this now too. I could easily That's teach true. this to people. Mm-hmm. Um, this would be a, a fun one to bring out and and bring it over if somebody wants to play it or whatever. Um, but I really really enjoyed the game overall, so it's gonna be a bring it for me. All right. Who's next? Uh, am I up? Go okay. Ahead. There's a lot that I enjoyed about this game. Like I said, this is not typically my style, but I think that there's enough control over it and enough that there's just not tons of randomness behind the area control that I do enjoy it. So I'm going to say bring it because I'm not ready to buy this one, um, but I definitely would play it. And I think that there's a lot of fun aspects to it. Mm. All right. I'm gonna round it out with a bring it as well. This is one that if somebody wanted to play, I, like you said, I mean, after one time, it's like, yeah, I'll teach it, sure. You know, I could definitely mm-hmm. at a convention or mm-hmm. anything like that. Um, but if somebody ever wanted to play, I'd be happy to jump in a game for this. Um, 
But again, I mean, similar to Wendy, as I throw my cards, sorry. <laughs> uh, similar to Wendy, um, it, it's not quite that, that bias, just the mechanisms are not ones that I love. But for these mechanisms, this is definitely one that I'd be happy to jump into. So I would say bring it. Yeah, definitely bring it and I'll play. Yeah, yeah, and if you do like the kookier stuff, if you're a fan of area control or area majority, um, if you don't mind those crazy blow up your ship kind of powers, mm -hmm. uh, that then then for me this is a buy it for sure. Uh, then you know I think you're gonna enjoy the strangeness of it a little bit. You know the citadels esque like oh, like Roy sure. said characters, wacky stuff, things blowing up. So there you go, everybody. That's going to do it for us on this catch -up Palooza. Thank you very much for checking it out. My name is Z Garcia. I'm Camilla Cleghorn. I'm Roy Kennedy. And I'm Wendy Yee. And we're going to see you on the next one. Go conquer space! Space! Sorry for attacking you so much, Z.